All right, y'all good looking, sexy fucking people out in TV land. Frank Monday coming at you on the Live Drive Jive Archive. I'm back in the rental car. My vehicle is going in the shop. Uh, last time, I guess, they're, uh, they weren't entirely, uh, they didn't have the parts ready. So I left it with them for a week and uh, they didn't have the parts. Uh, it's gonna go back into the shop for a, about a week and I should have it back next week. And meanwhile, I am in the uh, Borgvad. It's a good car, I like it. It's powerful, it's fast, it's, uh, it's got zest and enthusiasm. I enjoy driving it. I'm, uh, I've been looking at Volvos. Uh, the T5 is a little too small. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for myself for a T6. Um, I haven't driven one yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Today's Thursday, chances are this weekend, I will get out and I will drive a Volvo, uh, recommended by Frater Marlowe. So, you know, might as well give it a go. I have not been able to upload anything to YouTube in the past 24 hours. And uh, reason being, I think, is because today, July 1st, is so-called China's birthday. Not exactly sure what that means. Uh, I do believe that they are referring to the 1901 founding of the Republic of China, maybe? People's Republic of China? Um, I thought October 1st was Chinese National Day. I had never really heard a lot about July 1st, and I asked someone yesterday, and I said, oh, is today the, the birthday of the founding of the Chinese Communist Party, the CCP? And I think that's what it is, but they're like, no, it's the birth of China. And I'm like, what? Ain't no birth of China. China dates back tens of thousands of years to... Uh, I mean, if you want to go back all the way to, let's see, the first legendary emperor of China is Fuxi or Shen Nung? I think Shen Nung comes first, and then it's Fuxi. So we're talking like approximately 50,000 years ago is when uh, Fuxi and Shen Nung gathered the people and uh, <clears throat> taught husbandry, agriculture, and other things, textiles, so on and so forth. Anyway, that's legendary. <clears throat> if you really wanna go back, then the original idea is uh, a story called Pangu Pikai TND. And so Pangu was a guy that, a legendary giant, that lived within the earth and the earth was like a giant egg floating in space. And then he cracked it open and started cruising around and forming things. So that's the first creation story. Dates back to Pangu. Uh, it's a kind of spiritual metaphor for the birth of any creature and especially man, that his essence coalesced from universal divine energy and then penetrated the dense matter, the, the matter of the material plane, and then the egg cracked open and out comes Pangu. So, uh, that's the reason I believe that all of my uploads are being blocked. I started uploading a short video yesterday, like an eight minute one, and it went from 2% to 4% to 2%. Then it got all the way up to like 8%, then dropped back down to 2%. And so that's not logical. You can't upload 
two, four, six, eight percent, and then drop back down to two percent. What does that even mean? So there's fishiness going on. I even broke it down and did only a, a one minute, 30 second video and tried to upload that, but it didn't work. So it's a bunch of bullshit. Um, they, anytime there's like a holiday, they celebrate by imposing their tyranny on the internet. And so they like to remind you, hey, it's the founding of the nation. We will celebrate not with freedom, but with tyranny. So um, anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Get on over to YouTube, sub my channel. If, uh, if a friend's or family member's phone or laptop or tablet is nearby with the YouTube app open, just go ahead and type in Frank Monday and sub them as well. Secretly sub them when they go to the bathroom or something. That shit's cute. People like that. Because then like suddenly Frank Monday's appearing in the feed. Straight dick with Frank Monday. And they're like, what the fuck is that? And so they'll click on it. And then uh, they'll be happy. You know, they'll join us in Happy Land. I love y'all good looking sexy motherfuckers out in Happy Land. Oh, Sir Thomas, Happy Land. Uh, Maca... Macarin says, I believe is correct. Ooh, there's a nice uh, Nissan pickup truck, a four seater. Cool. There was a time when I first got to China that uh, pickup trucks were like illegal they couldn't import them they didn't make them the only pickup truck you would ever see were these like amphibious vehicles and i was like what the fuck are they doing with like long beach style naval amphibious vehicles driving around and they were the tree crews and they had like an eight seater an eight seat cabin with like a um a flatbed on the back and i thought it was super cool and because I'm a pickup truck kind of guy, I would love to have a pickup truck. I have driven a few pickup trucks in the past and I really like them for rural areas. Um, if I was living in a rural area, which I'd like to be, um, I, would, I would have myself a pickup truck. My mom uh, used to own and operate a Chevy Stepside F1, no, 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 F, F, F-150 is Ford, let's see. Chevy Stepside, how did they classify it? What model is that? It was like an 86 Chevy Stepside, um, 250, is that, is that right? V8, I think it was a small block. Uh, yeah, nice big truck drank fucking gas though you just drove it from gas station to gas station that motherfucker those those big old engines man they were not efficient at all but damn did they have power yes indeed as above so below into the abodes of the future laters